when you understand that you, if, if you don't get away from the one who called you to be what you designed to be, and you understand that them over here in Israel ran away, but Paul was honestly calling them back to where they can receive the very power and authority that God has already given to him. But in the third verse, he said it was being ignorant. And that's how we are sometimes. We run away and look at the world system. We feel they got more to offer than what God has to offer. You take the word of God and you go back over to the book of Psalms and he begins to read over in Psalms 31. He said, if thou, if thou break my, if thou, if, if, thou, if, if thou break my statutes and keep not my commands, listen to what he's saying. Don't break the statutes, but keep the commands and the statutes, everything. I remember uh, Pastor Dale Wilson was telling me about, so I was reading up on one of the books that uh, uh, Dr. Miles Moreau had out of me. And he said, uh, one of the last books he signed for me, Dr. Miles Moreau, and it was dealing with becoming a leader. And I had been reading it along with another powerful book by a man of God, by the uh, man of uh, God, by the uh, J.C. Uh, Matthews over there with uh, J.C. Matthews International Ministry out there in Fort Worth. They, these guys have been feeding me with some good stuff. But not, not, I'm not saying that, you know. That they're not the only ones, but 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 you got to pick up nuggets as you go. It, it, different coaches can coach you. to when you slip in somewhere, you need more people around you to help you to make you more stronger in your walk and your run. Sometimes when you go through things in life, God's preparing you for a setup. Your failures are really just a bounce back to get you to what God is taking you to. When you see me on these radio stations, you see me doing these internet stations. This is just a stage before I get there to go to what God want me to be. Because there are men in positions that want to take me to the next level, from TV to wherever it may be to where I have to go. We're already there. But sometimes you got to get in the right position with the right people to bounce what you have to catapult you into the next category. I, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the favor of dominion, how you understand that the dominion and the power of God, that what you see around you, it belongs to you and everything in it. Everything you ever wanted already belongs to you. But faith catapults your dominion of faith, your, your, your thoughts about it. See, when you think about stuff that can be possible, God says it's already been given to you. If, you. if a man can think it, so shall it be. Whatever you think in your heart, that's what it's going to be. The Bible declares agree in the, over here in the book of Psalms 89 and 31, if you break not my statutes, my commandment, and he says in the 32nd verse, he said, I will visit the transgressioner with the rod and their iniquities with stripes. You punished when you get out of only get out of line with God. You miss the very benefits as being a child of a king. When we as men and women of God, when we was young, we disobeyed our king, our our dominion, which is our parents that was able to give us everything that we need. When we was in the household with them, everything belonged to us anyway because there's inheritance left for us. God said he left us inheritance as well. And that inheritance came as he built this earth. And this earth, he said, he gave us a power and supremacy to rule and reign, to speak and call things to be not that the earth. Then know that when we speak out of our mouth, then our father would give it to us. He said he won't hold nothing from us. I believe you look over in Psalms over there in the book of uh, uh, Numbers 23, 19 to 21. He said he's not a God, yet he should lie. He's not a son of any piece of some kind of a flesh that you have to repent. He said he's being commanded to bless and he cannot reverse it. Let, let me show you something here. Let me show you something here. Let, let's go over to the book of, uh, let's look over here in the area of the book of Isaiah. Uh, I'm, I'm just moving, just letting the spirit have his way because I know how the Holy Ghost moves through me. You, 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 you see, you don't have you ain't you ain't got to get a whole lot to go where you're gonna go. You just need to get with the right team and the right people. Sometimes God's setting you up to move. You keep it's almost like in sports. You keep running the same play, but it keeps stopping. Somewhere down the line, that gate's gonna be open. You may keep running the play, and they may have stopped it every time. But somewhere in the midst of them stopping, it's gonna be a break somewhere. If you keep on pounding and hitting that that very, if you keep on going, if you keep hitting that door. It's a matter of time before, but see, man can't hold you back. And that's what you got to understand. You're a child of a king. If the Bible said no weapon formed, then no weapon formed. If the word of God declares according to the book of Isaiah, let's look over in Isaiah. Let's look over to Isaiah right here. The word says this, and I'm going to make you see it because you got to believe it. Let's, see the Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah 55 and get my, get my uh, marbles going here. And as I, we're just selling into the word and what the word of God has to say. I want to get the radical out of line with you, but I feel the presence of the power of the Spirit moving in this particular teaching or not in the area of dominion. Look at Isaiah 55. Look at Isaiah 55, you know, and, and let's look what it says in Isaiah 55. And I look at from the beginning of Isaiah 55 and look at some things here. Isaiah 55. 
He said, oh, everyone that trusted, come to me. The water, he that has money, he has no money. He, the, he ain't talking about he, he, You got, you know, no money, come ye. Eat, come ye. Buy wine without money, without price. It, 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 everything has already been given to you. You don't have to want for nothing because you got a father who provides you everything you need and everything you want. All you got to do is, like I said in Mark 9 and 20, you're going to have to believe. The Bible declares, according to the book of Hebrews, he said, but if, if I can, if, if, see, if it's faith I got, they got to believe it's already there, even though I don't see it. That if he done it for the elders, and God has no respect for God, everything he done for those, the prophets, all those healings, and all those things he done in the, in the Bible, the Bible says he's no respect for God. What he do for one, he'll do for another. You're going to have to believe it. You got to come out of your adolescency and quit running up behind people and thinking they got something that you already got in you. It's okay for you to go behind them and get to understand how to get direction. Everybody need to map. But once you understand that you're a fish out of water and when you begin to drop your spirit in the water and your genealogy begins to explode, God is the man to call you to be in the position which you're in. The word of God declares when you're going on down here and around the, uh, the, the, the fourth verse, is, behold, I've given him for the witness to the people, the leader and a commander to the people. Behold, I shall call nations that thou knoweth not in, in my somewhere. And the nation that knoweth not thee shall run unto thee because of thy Lord thy God. I'm telling you, you hooked up and command. See, when Abraham got hooked up with the right person, which was Christ, which, which was the Lord, everything that everything from that point was automatic. God was on his side. Look, get from upon your heathen people. Come outside that tent. And I want you to look up. And brother, if you can number the stars in the name of Jesus, unnumerable. That's the seed that you're going to have, the sands of the seashore. Get yourself from among them people, them heathens, and get to a place that everywhere your foot begins to tread, like he told Joshua, will be yours. When you're walking in power, you're walking in authority, you're walking in dominion, the Bible tells us again, once again, he said, no good thing, according to Psalms 84, 11, would he hold from those who walk upright. Everything you see in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, they came into supremacy, they came into authority. But he told them one thing, look, don't you forget don't you forget, lest you forget. Remember your forefathers. When God brings you out of something in your life and knowing that he already had a destiny for you, as he said in Jeremiah 29, 11, he told you already that he had a powerful vision for you. He told you. Jeremiah 29, 11 makes it very clear. For those, that, that, as a matter of fact, that's my, that's my wife's favorite verse. But when you look over here in the book of Ephesians, I mean, in the book of Isaiah, he says about that uh, in the fifth verse, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knoweth not, and the nations that knoweth thee not shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and the Holy One of Israel, for has glorified thee. The Bible says, Seek ye the Lord. Why he may be found. Matthew 6 and 33 tell you the same thing. He's not just telling you stuff. He's trying to give you the gateway to your dominion, to your, to your demise, to all your authority, to everything he had for you. If you seek the Lord, why he still, why, look, seek the Lord, why he still may be found. This is why it bothers me sometimes when I see the men of God and they offer people to come up for salvation and offer people to come up to be healed and whatever condition they may be in their body and they sat there like they got Regan Morgan's in their body as if they already got it and they do what you call them secret prayers. When the man of God said, look, get up, come up here. There's a well over here. It's overflowing. But you sat there right in your seat and you, you, you sat there with, your, with a broken cistern and you want to get the dominion from the kingdom but, but your cistern, but you leaking what God had provided for you because you didn't legally present yourself as a living and sacrificial offering unto God. That under the authority of the statute and the command that he gave the man of God, that you may have all that you have here on earth and know that you got the power to command and declare and call things that be not what they were. You sat right there. You allow the end of your pants to be glued to the seat because of the stubbornness in your mind that Satan is talking to you. 
The word of God said, they seek the Lord while ye may be found. He says in the seventh verse, he said, let the wicked forsake his ways. Get, get, get out. I'm talking about walking in dominion. Y'all, see, there's another approach to what I'm trying to get you. See, some people are going to tell you about Genesis 1 and 26, Romans and all, but I'm trying to get you to see something. I'm trying to give you the gateway to dominion. It's all about obedience. The Bible says in Psalms 84, 11, I won't hold nothing from an obedient child. I won't revert my commandments, nor my statutes. It said in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter, I won't hold that from you. But I want you to understand that you actually got the authority and the power of a superior God, one who can give you everything you need. See, when you go, see, 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 your, your car ain't your blessing. Am I something? Am I talking? I'm gonna get to y'all right now. Your car ain't your blessing. Your house ain't your blessing. Your job ain't your blessing. Your health is not your blessing. Your blessings is through your covenant. And in the covenant, all those things are supplied to you. Mm. The Bible said the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich. And it added no toil. Get it? The blessings with the S. The blessings of the Lord, it makes it rich. And it added no toil. Because you know why? You've been obedient and locked. Your, the superior one who's over has got the ability to bless you. And whatever it is that you need, whatever you lacking in life, when you got to stand before a king and you got a king and you're a part of a king, I'm telling you, it, it ain't nothing that a king's child don't want. The inheritance has been already given to you. The Bible said, but the seventh verse, but you got to forsake your ways, your wickedness, your unrighteousness, your thoughts, your mind and thinking. That's why Romans said, look, get your mind, get your nugget right in Romans 12 and 2. You got to renew your mind, first of all. And then you got to be able to confess the word of God according to Romans 10, 8, 9. He tells you, what, 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 what is the word? It, 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 right there, it's, 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 it, what the word, what does it say that? It's at thy mouth. But if you confess with your mouth, Everything you need is at your lips. The Bible says blessings and curses are in the mouth. Tell my life and death. I say blessings and curses. We know the word of Proverbs that blessings, the life and death is in the power of the tongue, but your blessings and curses is in your mouth too. How uneducated you are from a from now I'm not talking about from the education. I ain't saying you gotta go to school. I ain't saying nothing about that. Seminary and all that stuff was a good thing for me, and I believe God is, is pleased with what I'm doing. But you got some people been in school for five, six years, and they still in the first grade. You got some people got degrees all beside their wall, but they don't understand the process of how God has commanded them to have the blessings. Because they believe their education more than revelation. And then I'm telling you, education will never supersede revelation. I don't care who you are and what kind of degrees you got. The very rules and the laws that were written for us to be able to abide here on earth was written through the prophets. And you don't see them prophets running around talking about how they went to the university this and university that. And they got the degree this, they got the degree that. When you understand the Apostle Paul's road and the talking about the books in Acts chapter 9 on the road to Damascus, you know that he got knocked from his horse, his beast. And the only voice he heard was from the Lord. In the days they said, they called people Lord, they called them people in superior position. He said, who are thou, Lord? He wasn't talking about Christ in such a way that he wanted to say. He talking about it was somebody he knew was more powerful than he was. The Lord began to say, I, I'm, I'm God, I'm Jesus. I'm, I, I'm the one. It's it goes hard for you to keep on kicking against these pricks. But Paul never looked at his education because Paul on his road to roll call straight. And when you read the story real strong about Apostle Paul on the roll call straight, in that little room that he was there, the Paul said he saw things that he began to see the waters that Jesus was baptized in. Now he said all the things, that all the waters that was in heaven, he saw all the glory. And they say in the midst of Paul seeing all those things, they say Paul really died in that little room. But on the way to Ananias bringing him back, he was resurrected through the touch of Ananias. And Ananias, you don't see a whole lot about Ananias in the Bible. Brother from the Church of the Way. How God can use anything. That's why you be careful how you look at people and what a person you think they ain't got from an educational standpoint of view. And then people look at you as if you ain't got an overflow to get from the kingdom of God. When a person denounced your authority and denounced the gift in you, then you better watch it because they want to rule over you in such a way that they don't think you got what it takes to get to where God going to take you. But can I tell you about what the word of God says about you being a king, that is an inheritance waiting on you, that everything they got, you can have that and more. When you begin to treat your brother and sister like they're supposed to be treated with respect and honor and not look at what you got all around you versus what God can give you, 
See, men gonna always honor men. See, I think Moses spoke about that part. Men is always want to rule over men. Always want to rule over men.